A hero can be defined as a person who stands out from ordinary citizens as one who embodies, upholds, and protects the values and ideals of their culture or nation. Through the generations, we have come to associate the word hero with fictional people or characters known for wielding enhanced abilities, mystical powers, superhuman physiologies, among others, fighting off against interdimensional threats or supernatural beings. But not all heroes are like that. A lot of real people in our history are well deserved of their status as a hero among the masses. Some made a significant impact in our world, even in our own community's history, and were greatly admired and idolized by people for the characteristics and nature they possessed. Some, in their own way, have changed the course of time, revolutionizing the way we live today by sacrificing so much of themselves for what they believe to be right. It was through their selflessness and bravery that, despite being ordinary people themselves, made them extraordinary. There are countless individuals in the Philippine history that are way more than heroes for what they have done for our country. They were on a whole other level. There are Filipinos who took arms to fight for what they believed, seeing revolution could be accomplished through armed revolt against colonizers. Gabriela Silang and Trinidad Texon were two of the most prominent female figures in Philippine history, gaining the titles of La Generala and Mother of Biak Nabato, respectively. Gabriela Silang was first widowed before meeting her to-be husband Diego Silang, whom she eventually joined in conquests and skirmishes against Spaniard rule. After Diego's death, Gabriela assumed his position, becoming the new ruler and leader of the rebel troops, before eventually getting caught and executed by the Spaniards. Trinidad Texon, called the Mother of Healing, fought colonial rule under the forces of Gregorio del Pilar, though served more as a medical aid during the war. Nevertheless, Trinidad was a force to be reckoned with during those times. Andres Bonifacio, co-founder and leader of the Katipunan, is considered to be the Philippines' national hero besides Jose Rizal. His life and contributions within the Katipunan and their attacks against the Spaniards led to the eventual success of the revolution. While previous figures sought out freedom through war, there were those who helped the increase of revolution without being directly involved in the Katipunan's plans. Apolinario Mabini served as an advisor towards the revolutionary government. Though against the act of violence and further bloodshed against American rule, Mabini eventually supported the idea after realizing that the Americans won't compromise with his conditions. Mabini eventually earned the title of Brains of the Revolution, which is sometimes shared with Emilio Jacinto. Juan Luna was a political activist towards the revolution and one of the most famous Filipino painters in history. Though never confirmed to have been in any affiliation with the revolution, he served as one of the agitators of Philippine independence and was arrested for suspicions of supporting the Katipuneros. Jose Rizal is one of, if not the most, recognizable Filipino in world history. He became the leader of the propaganda movement, contributing numerous articles to its newspaper, La Solidaridad, published in Barcelona. When he returned to the Philippines in 1892, he founded the Nonviolent Reform Society, which was named La Liga Filipina. Jose Rizal was falsely accused of having connections with the Katipunan, a Filipino nationalist secret society, and was found guilty. On the eve of his execution, while confined in Fort Santiago, he wrote Mi Ultimo Adios or The Last Farewell, which became a masterpiece of the 19th century Spanish verse. Known for his works No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo, Jose Rizal spent most of his life abroad, studying the different cultures of different countries. It was through his adventures that he realized that the Philippines was in dire need of independence and that he must help in the fight to attain freedom. Throughout his journey, Jose Rizal continued to assist the Filipinos against the evil Spanish rule. After years of helping and inspiring countless others to join their cause, he was forced to return to the Philippines to stand trial for conspiracy against the Spaniards. While executed by his fellow Filipinos in front of Spaniards, his death served as a form of martyrdom towards further movement. His journey ended with the beginning of what would be considered as the most important moment in Philippine history. Together, they collectively fought to pave the way towards a free Philippines, an independent haven without unjust laws imposed by colonizers or any other party that aims at the same.